Fresh Boy Swag. What's good, my boy? Yo, what's up, man? In the Trap Golf Mansion, chilling. How we living? How we living? Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be a great year for real. I wanna appreciate you, man, for letting us come through and get this interview in with you. I feel like 2023, you really broke through. Let people Hell know who yeah. you are, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. And now 2024, you're about to really let them know what's going on. So we got yeah, you here. It was good. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Facts. VIP coming soon. Be Bobby going crazy, bro. Let's just talk a little bit about Fresh Boy Swag. Come mm -hmm. up with Fresh Boy Swag, like the original origin story. So where, who is Fresh Boy Swag and where is he from? Fresh Boy Swag. Well, Fresh Boy Swag is really a character for real, but sort of a character I became, but I'm just, you know, I'm just a UK party boy. Uh, grew up in London, just out here living really. There's not much about it. I'm just uh, doing my own thing, just creating. Being from London, what brings you to New York? Seriously, like my family's out here. Like you see everyone here. Uh, this is just where all the emotions at right now, really. Like everyone just loves me here. Like I don't know. Like I'm more for New York than I am for London. Like people fuck with me more here. Like I don't know. What part of London are you from? Uh, North London. I ain't gonna say specifically, but yeah. So is there some sort of a rap scene going on in London that you were associated with? Uh, nah, nah, see, like, that's why I'm here, because it's all through the internet. That's how I met, like, Xavier, like, everyone, just, like, one C. Like, we just, like, fought with each other through the internet or some shit. Uh, like, because growing up, I didn't even really have much friends either. And it's just more, like, drill music. I mean, there's, like, underground in, like, in, like, London, but it's, like, more opium-type, like, music, like, nothing that, like, I would make, so... Yeah, I was just kind of on my own with the shit. So when did you start coming from UK to New York? Uh, shit. July 2022. I came out here with my boys, Xavier, Zig, Guap Kid, Cranes. And then, um... We did this show for uh, Renesi's birthday, I think, yeah, and it was uh, with Lost Hill, and this was like my first ever show ever, and uh, yeah, that shit just went insane, and then we, uh, my boy Zay here, he uh, put together this thing called Underworld Fest, and that was like our first like show we ever like put together ourselves on some shit, and it was like tiny, like we had like 10 people show up, they just don't know it was like, shit, it, but it was just like, it was a show for like the guy it was just on some family shit and yeah that's when it really started uh and then i just made like the connects out here and yeah love you zay love you too bro but yeah uh and then i came back again this year and just went crazy i don't know people just love me here they just eat up fresh boy swag uh, like where does the swag come from Shit, like, all the 2012, 2013 era, Soldier Boy, Cray Sean, Riff Raff, Black Cray for sure, Lil Debbie, Kitty Pride, uh, shit, Lil B, of course. I'll give my props to Young Bruh for sure. Uh, High C, when I started out, I was a big High C fan, and now, like, we cool, we got some songs on the way, so that's awesome. You, I feel like you're a part of the same era of everybody else that grew up listening to the Slay Worlds and everything. What, yeah, what yeah. made you look the other way? Uh, shit, man, honestly, I don't really think much about it. I'm just, like, super influenced by, like, um, just, like, I mean, just like 2013 shit in general. It's just like, you know, like every 10 years there's like a revival of like the last 10 years, you know, and I feel like that's like coming back into fruition and I'd like hope to think I'm like at the forefront of like the whole aesthetic, uh, or at least one of the people. Uh, but yeah, it's really just what I love and what I'm into. Like Fresh Boy Swag is just myself. Like it's all my influences, like the TV shows I watch, like Pretty Little Liars, Gossip Girl, mm -hmm. like I'll be rapping about those shows in a lot of my songs like the cover arts like yeah I don't know it's just like an amalgamation of just like all the media I love yeah 
I was asking a couple people, I'm like, if you if you could ask Fresh Boy Swag anything, what would you ask him? Somebody wants to know, what's Fresh Boy Swag's take on drugs? My take on drugs? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I love them. They're, like, fun to experiment with, you know, but I've seen a lot of people get really sucked into them, and uh, I don't really recommend trying any hard drugs except for weed. Uh, because I've seen people get really sucked into the lifestyle, especially in the rap shit. A lot of people around, you gotta be careful. Just stay careful out there. And please don't get too sucked into this rap game drug shit because the drugs come with it and there's gonna be a lot around and a lot of it's fake. There's a lot of fate going around. Just be careful, make sure you're getting your drugs sourced good. You know, real pharma shit. But yeah, I mean, everyone likes to have a fun and party. Just have your fun, but be careful for real. But yeah, I love them. They help me make a lot of music for real. And we definitely like helps with my mental health a lot. Like, and like anxiety wise and stuff. So like, yeah. What is Fresh Boy Swag's point of view on the underground right now? Bro, 2023 was the best year of the underground in a very long time. Like, I've been saying 2023 was the new 2013. 2024 is about to be the new 2014. We're, but we're just going stupid. Like, I don't know. Like, and it's just so much love right now. Like, everyone's just coming together and working together and just showing mad love from, like, all the... Nah, facts. Like, a few years ago, there was a lot of beef and cancellations and just, like, tox like toxic shit. But, like... Everybody was stuck up in little collectives and little dumb bullshit, bro. Now, everybody yeah. is really focusing on a so. Yeah, and it's just like it's great to see like everyone from all different sides of the scene come together. Like, like I've got music with like Snow Strippers on the way, for example. Like uh, Graham from Snow Strippers shot a video for me. Like stuff like that. It's like shit you'd never expect, but like everyone's just like showing hella love, and it's like it's beautiful. It's a lot of great music being made right now, for real. How'd you? How did you get affiliated with Mossy? Uh, yeah. So basically, it all started off with um. Well, shit, just, um, I really liked, uh, there was this person called, uh, Lucil Folks. We're not, uh, associated with him anymore. But, uh, him and Static, and I really fucked with that music. Shout out Static. Static's an OG. He's been, he's a big, like, part of, like, all of this shit. Like, for real. Like, he's, he's an OG. And he's young, too. He's 18. That's my little brother. But, yeah, I found them. I really liked their music. And then Static found my song one day. Uh, and then, like... What song was it? You remember? Uh, Surfing Freestyle. It was my first ever song. And then, uh, Zay, Zay Xavier, Xavier saw it and shit. <laughs> Xavier saw it and shit. And like, uh, my boy JT, he's also fire. And then, <laughs> nah, yeah, but yeah, they invited me to a Discord. And then, um, yeah, we it was all Discord shit. We're just all on the internet, just like making music, sitting on Discord, playing video games, just on some nerdy kid shit, like for real. like. And then it just like came to how it become now. But yeah, it was really just like, we all just fucked with each other's music. Like it was like me, Lucio Fox, Pink, shout out to Pink, big, ori big originator in the shit, like in the scene now, uh, Xavier, JT, Mari right here. Shout out to Mari, Death of Soul Blood. Uh, yeah, and shit. One C came around, but really it was Laws before. We had this collective called Laws that uh, Pink mm -hmm. created, mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't know about Laws. That was that was the real. That was before this shit became real life. This was before we were ever doing shows or anything. And yeah, we had Laws, and then One C was like but before the. Before that, it was onward though. Yeah, before, before that, it was onward. Yeah. yeah, like that was where like Xavier and Mari and them met. Like yeah. there was a lot of like different collectives that just like ended up coming together. To how it is now and then like yeah like really Xavier started 1C we're just like our OG music friends like that we've just been around for years and then more people just came in you know like we found 10k he came in later like so many people like who else Sebi mm -hmm. Sebi just started yeah, producing yeah, like this year like yeah Suvi yeah, Eli it just like the family grew now we're just one big family 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Well, that's true. But yeah, we just became one big family. Uh, yeah, that's how it started for real. So if you were to say one C is the next what when it comes to a collective, what would you compare it to? Mm. Shit, bro. I'd say one C for sure. Like I say, Stack would say this for sure as well. It's like more like kind of odd future vibes. Okay. But like, I, I don't know. But more, more on like, they're gonna hate me for this. But I'm just gonna say Drain Gang because it's some different shit. We're People say our, that all the time, though. Yeah, we're we're like we we made music that like no one's really heard before, you know. So I think Drain Gang would be a good like description. But like honestly, I don't know. You can't really like, explain it. You can't really explain. One C is new, yeah. Like all of us have Bro, a different sound. Yeah. All of us have a different sound when we make this type all of like sound of music. music. Yeah, a lot of us all have our own, own thing. Shit. Yeah, we all have our own little wave. Like, even though it might sound the same, everyone has their own unique shit, bro. Like, yeah, that's so what like, makes it different. That's what makes it. Yeah, a lot of us are on our own different shit. Like, I'm on my party boy VIP shit. Fucking Xavier's on his. Bro, Xavier's just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just, I don't know. I don't know what goes on in his brain. He He's just big makes goat the though. craziest shit. Nah, that's what I'm saying. That's like, a big goat though. That's like, like what I'm saying. But Xavier is a factor. But like, really what it is, it's just like, no it's all about being yourself. Like, that's right. what it comes down to. Like, or, especially with like people like, like Mari too, and like me and Xavier, like, we're just like, make music like i don't know it's just purely ourselves like it's just like facts like bro it's Xavier what we be, like. yeah it's literally what we like yeah. it's literally just what we like like he be with the anime shit xavier with the tech deck skating shit bam margera cover arts like yeah it's really because we all just like grew up on the internet yeah. like yeah interest so yeah. So if you could give any other collectives advice on how to make how to how to grow and influence others, what would you say? Be original. Yeah, be 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 original, but just really be yourself. Yeah, like it's not, it's not just even, just have fun have with it. Bro. Just it's don't. Sad, yeah, but just you don't overthink it. Don't even pay attention. Yeah, I just yeah. don't even oh, think God, about bro. it. I'm just I'm just in my own world, bro. It's, fake. it's the internet, bro. It's not real. I live in my own world. It's That's why. Shit will come up, bro. Yeah, literally. Yeah. No. I wanted somebody to say that. No, okay. I, I wanted somebody. I, to I say have that. something to <laughs> so say bad. because I've experienced this with. Uh, no, no. I have something. I have, I have some real shit to say, ahead, bro. Ahead, because ahead, um, ahead. you know, when people, uh, when all of the uh, bullshit, wait, wait, sh hold on, hold on, hold on. When all of the uh, bullshit was spread about me, uh, speak on, speak on that real quick. We'll, uh, uh, the, elaborate just a little bit. Just you know, false allegations, whatever. Um, okay. Yeah, everyone was kind of like the same people that were praying on my downfall, like celebrating the fact that I was canceled, da da da. Ended up like when I proved my innocence, they end up, you know, being back on my side. And like, it's just like, it's crazy. I don't know, like, they're just like praying your downfall one day and then just like, right back, right back to dick sucking. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Do you feel like you gained more traction after the allegation, even though it was hate? Um, yeah, possibly, but I just try not to think about it for real, yeah. But I'm not really sure. So what goes on? What, what goes on in the? I just found out about the music after that. You crazy? Yeah, yeah, especially, lucky. Especially with my son, when niggas really found out the truth, you feel me? Yeah, and yeah. It's like, alright, bet now we could jack my son. You feel yeah, yeah. It was just crazy so seeing everyone switch switch up so quick, you know. So how does it genuinely feel being someone that beat the allegations? Because that's rare. Uh, yeah. I mean, it feels great. I mean, shit. I knew I was going to anyways, but yeah, it, it was really like it, it honestly made me cry seeing everyone support uh so yeah shout out to everyone shout out to all my fans for real because you guys fucking changed my life and I'm, yeah i don't know it, it felt i felt loved for real so I have, I have a question how do you feel about your fans so i was at um the xavier so base yapo j show in new york city yeah, they all yeah. shot down and shit when i saw you guys on top of the van and everything somebody approached the camera and they're screaming out Big dick. 
How does like how does how does having fans like that make you feel? Uh, I mean, he said it multiple times. He called, that's he did, crazy, he called me on man, the line crazy. and then called me at the skate park. That's crazy. I mean, like when did you notice? When did you notice things were starting to pick up and get to this point? I mean, to be fair, I did say. Uh, I fucked your bitch and she cool me fresh boy big dick in a song but uh, I mean nah I love my fans for real um, a lot of them are just very silly very yeah and sometimes they don't know boundaries which like kind of sucks cause like I feel like with like uh, me and a lot of my friends like they don't really see us as people a lot of the time like real people yeah. speak on some um, of the things that they do that's like crossing boundaries I mean bro I don't, I don't even think of an example I mean, there was just like this one kid that like took a picture with me on Twitter and then he like started talking about how he was like smoking backstage with like me, Xavier, and Renacy. And like he just asked me for a picture outside and like then I replied and I was like that didn't happen and then he's kind of just been like harassing me on Twitter. But it's just shit like that and, and then like fans just like kind of come up to me and say weird shit and like it's just like, I mean if you just come up to me and say you appreciate the music, I'm always there for love for real. Yeah, yeah, I'm, like, I'm, like, I always chop it up with fans, like, like, every time a fan wants for a pick, I always chop it up with you, like, for real. You just but gotta, it's you like, just they're taking, just go be nice. They, they're they're, they're be taking nice. fan moments and they're turning it into, like, acting like they're, like, part of the crew or some shit. Yeah, like yeah, nice. yeah. Damn. I feel like that's why, um, people, people think a lot of artists have egos, but they don't understand, to an extent, yeah. why you have to, like, Oh yeah, be a certain a, way. Yeah, you that's know? another thing. Uh, I feel like a lot of people think I have an ego, but because uh, like at shows, like sometimes I'm like not that talkative. But right. I mean, we. I've seen I, you at shows. So sometimes you're just like. Yeah, I'm socially anxious and also, you know, like, I show, like, there's a lot to deal with, like, you know, I've got, like, a bunch of fans, like, trying to talk to me. I've got, like, make sure my set's going good and stuff and, like, and, like, at the end of the day, I'm socially anxious. Like, I'm not, like, a dickhead, for real. Like, but I just be in my, I just be in my own world sometimes, for real. That's really it. I'm just in my own world. But, like, nah, like, I'll never be a dickhead to a fan unless they're a dickhead to me. Or Okay. I'm always down for pictures and shit. Word, tough. So let's talk more about the music now. Let's talk about talk about the first song you've ever made. Yeah, surfing freestyle. Yeah, so basically, I was uh, back to talking about high C. Go giving his props. Right. I was like really into high C, so I made like a high C type beat. Right. Like I was just like making beats at the time, like. Right. Like was this was this in the UK or in New York? Uh yeah in London yeah okay, yeah London, this London, is London. 2019 I was like 16 uh, I'm 20 now so like I've been doing it for a minute uh but yeah made like a high C type beat and then like I just randomly tried hopping on it and like I thought it sucked I literally just posted it. I was like needed to do something with the beat low and then high C ended up finding it which was cool but then like yeah like hella people found it like problem Chris too easy. And like I ended up being like super tapped in with them in the future. Like shout out to them, shout out to Nova Gang for real. Um, but yeah, that song kind of like it was like a, it was weird because like I had a chance to like blow up super quick, like from my first song because like it actually gained like mad traction. Like that shit got like over like 100k streams and shit. Like How fast over did it take time. That to I mean a minute, but like it, it like it did get <laughs> ran up like pretty quick for my first song. What's pretty quick, like? Like, like I'm not sure. Like, I can't, because it was so long ago. But, like, I don't know. 100K is still a lot. Yeah, nah, it's facts, a lot. facts. Not even that long. It was like, what? Yeah, it was like, yeah. Like, it was crazy, because, like, mad artists, like, found that song, and it was my first song, like, Nozgov, like, Chris Too Easy. I mean, Chris Too Easy was another small artist at the time, but, I mean, him ended up being locked in ever since then. Like, that was one of the first artists I ever started fucking with. Same with Problem. Uh, but, yeah, I just kind of never dropped another song for, like, another year after that. <laughs> so, uh... What did you do? What did you what did you do throughout that year? Oh man, I was just on my kid shit. I was trying to make music, but I just sucked. I, I didn't really like have it in me yet, I guess. I was trying, but yeah, Xavier's been gassing me for yeah. I just wasn't in the right mind state to make music, I think. Like I was going through it. What do you feel like brought you to the right mind state? Honestly, like like, okay, so I was on some like really whack ADHD medication for like a good few years. 
Uh, and like, I couldn't smoke while I was on that too, or like, like do any drugs. And then, um, so basically, once I got off that medication, and then I moved out of my parents' crib, because like, being in my parents' crib was an issue too, because I had to be quiet and shit, uh, and I'd barely be able to record. But then, that, and then I started smoking again, because I hadn't smoked since I was like 16 before, and then that combination for some reason just clicked. And like, it just came out of nowhere, honestly. I was, I went from dropping like a song every six months to like dropping like three times a week, like two times a day. Like something just like woke up inside me, it's weird, but I'm grateful because, yeah, because yeah, I was still in uh, I was still in college. Um, like I was in my college dorm doing this, yeah. But then the shit ended up going good, so I dropped out. Dropped out, moved to New York. Yeah. Okay. I'm not moved fully yet, but. Nah, yeah, I'm but working started on coming it. I'm York. working on it. I'm working on it. I, I've got to get my visa and shit. But nah, yeah, work. yeah. Okay. So, what have you learned about Fresh Boy Swag from the first song you made to who you are today? Yo, honestly, like, it's funny because Fresh Boy Swag, like, like you said, I, he's a character. Yeah, Fresh Boy Swag, but like, I became the character. Like, I, I am Fresh Boy Swag now for sure. Okay. Like, like. Max still exists, Max my real name, Max still exists, but you know, it, I don't know, Fresh Boy Swag really like was on some like troll shit when I made the name, but like, I just didn't have a SoundCloud name, but like it's funny because like as like I progressed as a person I guess, like I just like, I don't know, I, I kind of fit the name now, like, and like I just got my own source, got my own swag, and now like I just became Fresh Boy Swag. Yeah, I became Fresh Boy Swag as I grew up. Like, I wasn't even, like my old songs like Surfing Freestyle and shit, I wasn't even Fresh Boy Swag. I don't know, I just became, became the VIP party boy, I don't know. <laughs> so what's your favorite song that you have right now, today? My favorite song? Ooh. My favorite song. Mm. That's kind of hard. That is hard. Cause it's like, is it like your favorite to make, or like your favorite song that you have out? Just cause favorite song you've had. Favorite song yeah, you've my favorite out. song I've made. Like, <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. I've got a lot of songs. I fuck with that Slay Mac Glow song. Girls pay for my dick for sure. Cause that was like, that was the start of the whole party. Boy sound which I'm working on now um, definitely a lot of songs on VIP the tape which is coming soon um, shit I really fuck with yeah I know with Xavier That was a pinnacle song, and uh... Why would you say that was a pinnacle song? Bro, because that was like... Okay, so we made that like right before that Lost Hill show, uh, the 4th of July 2022. We performed that shit and it just went stupid. Uh, and like, yeah, that was like when I re... Bro, because that was like, okay, so we made that like right before that Lost Hill show, uh, the 4th of July 2022. We performed that shit and it just went stupid. Uh, and like, yeah, that was like when I really first started like getting my vocals like right. Like, I, cause I used to record on a headset mic and then that was my first song with like a real mic. Like, nah, really my, uh, my actual like favorite song is Just For Fun. Uh, that one's underrated for sure. I was like singing my heart out on that shit. That's like my most emotional song. Yeah, definitely just for fun. What's to be expected from VIP? What's going on with that? I mean, shit, VIP, you know, just got a very important person, you know. I'm really, it's just on some lavish, like, party boy shit. Like, it's very, I mean, I don't want to say too much about the tape, but, like, it's just fire for real. It's some real, like, in the club, like, in the club, like, crunk shit. Like, that's all I can say, really. But, yeah, it's coming soon. I've got, like, three music music videos for it already, about to get the rollout going, shit's gonna be out like, shit, like, 
next month. That's it. I don't want to promise. But like, yeah, I, that's just my new sound I'm evolving on. Yeah, no, yeah, VIP is, VIP is my, uh, like, basically my, like, full debut album. Because I have a rock bottom the tape, but, like, I feel like this is really, like, my true art. But, like, rock bottoms, for sure, like, fire. And then Party Boy, uh, that's more, like, girls pay for my dick type vibes. Like, it's going to be all self-produced. Uh, I'm working on that. Like, that, I've been working on that, like, all oh, year. It's going to be a big one. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to come in. So talk a little bit about your creative process. When Fresh Boy Swag's in the studio, what does he do before he makes a song? Shit, smoke, get high, and then, bro, that's it, really. Literally, I don't know. I literally just like speak into the mic. Like these guys see, like I can make a song in like like two minutes. I made it. I made Inspire in like five minutes. Like I, I had to rush to leave a crib to link someone. I just like made it mad quick. Like I was just like spitting like mad quick, and then that's how that shit came out. It ended up being my biggest song. I mean, we all make music just like with no thought behind it. Like I feel like that's what makes it so unique because it's like there's genuinely like no thoughts about it like it's kind of like a cheat code yeah yeah that's why i always say just don't it's like a cheat code. yeah 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 i used to try too hard that's why i used to never draw music because i used to try too hard when we interviewed 10k i was like i remember you saying you used to rap like j cole <laughs> and then he switched it up and he said when he switched it up was when he noticed it just started going his way you know yeah yeah Nah, word, you just gotta find your own flow in the shit. And like, my friends definitely help me find my own flow. Like, definitely people like Bloody, Cat, Mike. Like, they got the craziest flows in the game right now. Like, they definitely inspired me, like, with that shit, yeah. When is, when is 1C gonna give us the 1C whole collective project? I mean, shit, we have one. Uh, 1C, uh, what was that shit called, Xavier? The 1C tape. Uh, one Chance Fitness. One Chance Fitness right. But yeah, we've got, uh, should we tell them the name of the other one? I, the think, this, one? I, I think this interview we big about, enough. We about to do. We about to do. I think this interview going to be big that enough. That was going to be after, you heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, about that was going to be after, but we got to film me. Right now, we're working on dropping the merch. Yeah, we're going to merch coming. Then we're going to do the tape right after, you feel me? Yeah, facts, oh, facts. We're trying to bring like. After the merch, y'all going to love it. Y'all going to love it. Yeah, we're trying to bring 1C like back into fruition because we've all kind of been on our solo shit recently. Yeah. Nah, yeah, facts, oh, facts, facts. We do no tape Fresh Boy Swag is a character. I'm not as uh, extreme as people may think I am. I'm quite shy. I like cute things, you know. I'm like, I like cute, wholesome things, you know. I'll be watching Pretty Little Lies all day, drinking pumpkin spice lattes, like. I'm just on my, I'm on my girly shit for real. But like, don't get it wrong, I'm still a party boy though. But there's just like two sides to me. There's two sides to me. The internet saw yeah. a little, uh, a, ni yeah. a nice picture of you with the ladies. They had you spread out. Oh, with some yeah, eggs out. yeah. You know what I mean? The, 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 you had the homie clip over there. Yeah, 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 shout out clip. What's going on with that? Uh, yeah, I mean, that was a... That was a clip and a tati from Snow Strippers and uh, and uh, this girl Ivy shout out Ivy too. Uh, yeah, that was just a that's behind the scenes for a music video I got coming that uh, uh, Graham from Snow Strippers shot. That shit's about to be fucking viral when it drops. I'm actually about to drop that pretty soon. That video about to go crazy. My son had the guilties in the bed. Mm -hmm. Chill. Yeah. So what do you think it is about your music that attracts all the ladies? Uh, the I'm, pe the people seem to... I'm going to be honest because like, if, 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 if a random person would look at Fresh Boy Swag, it literally looks like you're not trying at all. The hair is free, the outfit yeah. is just on, whatever. I mean, you that's, know? that's why they love it. I'm, I'm a rock star, bro. Like, I mean, people seem to say I'm a sex symbol, so... If that's what it is, that's what it is. I don't know. I just, I, Cause I really don't give a fuck. That's the thing. I guess that's why they love me. Can't get enough of Fresh Boy. Oh, people in the Discord were saying, where does Fresh Boy Swag get his clothes? Um, Just like random like thrift stores and shit. Depot, 
I like I like wearing like old ladies clothes. Shit like this like an old ladies jacket, the cardigan. These are like actually men's jeans, but you know, I'm I'm actually wearing baggy jeans for once, huh? Which is funny. But yeah, um none of my shit's like expensive or anything. It's just random, like most of it's unbranded, like yeah. Go in the women's section, you'll find you'll find what I wear. How does First Voice Swag find new producers? Um, and who are some of your favorite producers? So, new producers, uh, I mean, people just be hitting me up. But, I mean, I like to stay to like my main producers, which are 444 Jet, Colt 14, uh, Mag. Cool. Yeah, shout out Colt, Xavier too, uh, Slay with me, um, trying to think who else, Cranes, Cranes, Cranes is an OG in this shit, one of the best producers, uh, Shy, yeah, nah, facts, study group in general, Reclusive, um, yeah, yeah, they're all my favorites for real, shout out study group, study group as a whole, yeah. Okay. And 444 Jet, me and 444 Jet have unmatched, like, unmatched, like, sounds. Like, literally, like, most of my tape is pro 444 Jet, so, yeah, he makes some otherworldly shit. Who are some of Fresh Boy Swag's favorite artists in the underground? Favorite artists in the underground? Shit. I fuck with, um... I f bro, it's basically the homies, honestly. Bloody for sure. Bloody's like my favorite rapper. Percocets, I don't know, Cap. Um, trying to think who else. Hmm. I fuck with Osama's okay. Obviously, Net. Uh, yeah, basically the whole gang. That's all I listen to, bro. Like the whole gang, yeah, that's it. Okay, talk about Restless Fest, your performance, uh, and the response you got from the fans there. How to make you feel? Restless Fest, I have a lot to say about Restless Fest. Yeah, let's talk about Restless yeah, Fest. Yeah, um, Restless, Restless Fest was really uh, beautiful, honestly. Like, being up there with my friends and shit, like, the crowd, like, was going crazy. Like, my boy Glow, Glow Suka had the first set, and even though he was open, that shit went stupid. Like, uh, they were, like, fucking mush into his shit. But yeah, I don't know, I honestly, like, shed a tear during, like, the performance and shit. But, uh, it was a bit overwhelming with the fans, but like, I love them. It was just like a lot of people there, but then the security was on dick the whole time. Trying to kick us off stage, trying to drag us off stage and shit, saying we're not allowed on stage. And then you know what? The shit got shut down and everyone got kicked out because I'm trying to get on stage with the homies and security wants to pick me up and throw me off stage. So yeah, that was the whole fiasco with Restless Fest for real. But apart from that, it was great. Like I love seeing everyone set. The crowd was great. The crowd was gig. The good. crowd security was, was ass. Yeah, literally, Show it was just the security the crowd i shout out to the crowd i love you guys you guys made my night that was my best show i've ever done but yeah security i don't know what they were on hey Lord, i wanted to ask that i'm, I'm yeah because i was like as soon as they saw first boy swag on the stage they started going crazy i was like damn yeah first boy got it like that yeah it was a surprise for real because there was a lot of bigger artists on the lineup and i don't know 
how do you feel about the reciprocation from the the Yapo J Xavier and Fresh Boy uh, show that happened in NYC when you guys shut that down as well? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit, that shit was like for the good for sure. Like, like I'm glad that happened. Like, I mean, I really wanted to perform for real, but like that shit went viral. Like, I mean, I like honestly, like that was some real VIP shit, bro. That shit was like insane. Like. When they were just like crowding around the van and shit, like honestly, like I'm glad it went that way. And it's like it just shows like the emotion we have in the city. Like, like me and Xavier have been performing in the city for so fucking long. Like, it just really goes to show that like the city really fucks with us. Like New York really fucks with us. But like, yeah, that shit was like that shit made me happy. I love all you. Thank you for listening to me for real. You changed my life. Just stay safe out there. Be careful with the drugs. Don't get too cool up and shit. And stay in school for real. Unless it sucks. Yeah, Unless it's not it, for you. you. If it. you can't do it, you can't do it. I try staying in college. At least finish high school. At least finish high school for real. But college, nah. You don't need that. You don't need that. Okay. Yeah. But honestly, just keep being yourself. Don't be afraid to be yourself. You can walk around in the street looking crazy as fuck like I do. And no one will say or do anything. So don't be afraid for real. Yeah, that's my message.